going on YouTube another update going on got a few more plants I just bought and I uh, was taking advantage of all of this dripping that was going on by putting all the plants right underneath them so you can still see some dirt on the cover there and uh, as you can tell if uh, you've been watching any of my past videos we've got a whole new plumbing set up over there and a purple bucket instead of a white so let's check that out as you can see here, this was the drain for the old biofilter, and then you can see that crack right there on the top. I came out, it was dripping, and uh, since it was Teflon, the drain that is, I went ahead and gave it a little half spin, and instead of stopping the leak, it made it worse, and then I noticed that I was just putting more pressure on that crack, so this thing had to go, and it's gone. So now I got a purple bucket, and uh, this was actually from one of the original designs of the biofilter. Remember that video? And uh, back then, it had a drain on it, which was now right here, this hole right here, which is now the intake. So I drilled a new hole right there for that uh, inch and quarter outlet, and uh, inside, I went ahead and put the 90 in there, but I cocked it on an angle just to, uh, instead of being an overflow like it was before, obviously, as you can see right there, that water level, it gets right to the edge. And uh, it was leaking as of yesterday. Oop, way out of focus. Come on, Airman. Yeah, it was right up to that level, and it was leaking right out of the front. It's not leaking anymore. It slowed down a little bit. Got our uh, water flow just right up against the side there. And I also went ahead and put a air stone in there. So now, this is also being aerated. I decided to abandon my uh, little design here with this one, which is nothing but a couple 90s, and uh, had an air uh, stone uh, on an air hose going in the bottom, and it was trying to pump into that uh, little uh, fish tank overflow. Now I've taken that idea completely away because I don't really need uh, to get water in there. When I've got this uh, bolt, <laughs> when I've got this uh, hose bib there, that's just pushing water in there and it's adjustable. And also this one uh, uh, or one inch ball valve that's also adjustable to adjust the flow rate on this. But since I had so much extra flow, I went ahead and closed that ball valve right there a little bit and uh, put in another T and some plenty pipe and that goes straight on over to the hydro setup. This is the old pump right here. I just went ahead and shut it off, but it's pretty much the same design. I've got the pipe coming from the uh, T over there, come straight over to here, and I hooked up a hose bed backwards. And uh, the reason I did that was I ran out of plumbing parts and that's the way I had to do it. But, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I made it work though. And uh, it's still adjustable, because all you have to do is adjust the uh, hose bib, and you can adjust how much water you get going in there. And that's why this thing's kind of leaking a little bit. There's a bunch of drippers going there, and that's because I've got about this much water going in there, which, if you remember the last video, wasn't nearly that much water. But funny enough, we're getting so much leaking that uh, that's the amount that we're actually getting out of the... Uh, out of the drain part so we might be losing a little bit too much water but at the same time everybody else seems to be doing pretty good if you look in here we do have a good amount of water and it's moving all right well like i said in the last video these tomatoes are doing really good they're starting to put off a bunch of leaves and a bunch of uh, flowers i think i said fruiting in the last video um, but they're not fruiting yet uh, a bunch of these peppers are, like this little pepper right there. You can see we've got a couple uh, uh, peppers starting on there. And uh, a couple of the new ones that I got, they also have uh, some peppers starting on them. Over here with the strawberries, as you can see, we're still producing strawberries. Look at that nice big red sucker. It's going to be nice and juicy. Got a few more examples, like that deformed one right there. And uh, there's a couple more, like one right there. And they're just popping up here and there. Um, the leaves, well, as you can see, I mean, they all look pretty good, except for like these two, or oh, there's another third one right there, but they're all like right together. These guys are the only ones that look like they're having an iron problem. Oh, here's another one right there, but it's just the tips. 
so I think it's actually reversing because we did have a lot more uh, yellowing going on and it seems to be reverting a little bit so hopefully that uh, chelated iron <laughs> did the trick over here got a uh, couple of these peppers are drooping um, as you can see right there we got remnants of a tomato when I was cleaning off suckers I decided to uh, do a nice 45 degree angle didn't use rooting hormone got another one right there and I just went ahead and dug out a little spot for them put them in there uh, that was two days ago I believe and um, or maybe it was uh, longer than that but the first night it looked like they were going to die they were all shriveled up and looking really bad right now they don't look that bad compared to what they have been looking like in the past I don't expect them to actually take root and start growing because I have not been able to do that in a soilless environment or a soil environment using root, root hormone um, anything like that so I don't expect these guys to work by not using anything and just throwing them in here but I do that every once in a while with my dirt garden so why not with the aquaponics see what happens most of it happens is it just became a clipping that I was cutting off anyway and now it's going right back to the earth because I'll pull it and throw it back into the ground these guys over here they're doing very nice nice and tall um, actually putting on some uh, some mass there on the uh, stem you can see both those guys looking real nice and strong even these two littler ones actually have a pretty decent uh, stock on them and th this little guy as you can see it starts to flower right there and this one right here also starts to flower as well as all these guys so all of them are flowering which is really encouraging We've got the, the strawberries they're actually producing a whole bunch more leaves they were stunted for a little bit but they've been pretty much going nuts now and it even looks like this one's trying to throw a runner so uh, probably just clip that and try to get it going back into fruiting uh, or leaving mode um, these peppers that were pretty much yellow they're starting to put up some green growth so I'm hoping that uh, fixing the pumping issue on these pipes is actually making a bigger deal um, these tomatoes are still flowering like last time and these guys are all the new ones that I bought a jalapeno some yellow bells um, uh, Santa Fe Grand um, chili pepper um, then I've got what we got here some mar globes another uh, four pack of mar globes and uh, habanero <laughs> with two of them in there so I'm gonna try to get them in aquaponics and uh, which means I'll be washing down the soil trying to separate the two so that I can have two pepper plants same thing with these guys right here I've got multiples in there um, I've got two with singles and then two with doubles and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to wash down the soil, separate them. That way I can get six plants out of that instead of just the four that came with it. Which, uh, with a dirt garden, isn't that bad because then they're right next to each other. and I believe they pollinate each other. Isn't that the way it's supposed to work when you have uh, doubles going? But uh, if not, you hopefully get twice the fruit. So, But if you caught my other aquaponic uh, setup, that only has one bed at the moment with the lava rocks. That one is going to become a dual bed and I'm going to need to plug in the pump somewhere because it's going to be attached pretty much to uh, this area. Uh, hopefully I can either build or buy a uh, cheap greenhouse for the winter and put it over this so I can keep growing during the winter. Uh, small heater in there and see what we can do. Or uh, maybe I'll just build one and just do like some sort of simple uh, two by four structure and then uh, pretty much put uh, clear plastic all over it and uh, I'm sure it's not gonna last a hurricane here but uh, you know as long as it makes it through the winter that would be nice put a nice pitch on it so uh, if we do get the rare uh, one foot of snow like we got last year then uh, it should just go ahead and fall off and not stack up on it and everything. But uh, we'll cross that road when we get to it, because that sounds like more of a October, November kind of project. But whenever I go ahead and grab my other aquaponics setup and move it, it's going to be right here somewhere. I'm thinking right over here, independent, like right off of the little walkway path here. And uh, just put uh, uh, grow bed grow bed with the fish tank right underneath it two by four design holding it up on a plywood platform but that's still to come 
I love that running water sound, so I'm going to get out of here and listen to that. And you guys can go check out my other videos, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. If you feel like it, you don't want to, and you think I suck, <laughs> leave a comment, man. Love those. Till next time. Later. So, with all that action going on, all that plumbing that I was doing over there, and uh, it's actually a lot better now that I have this new black line right there running here over to this hydro setup. Um, now I'm using one less pump. I've got the hydro setup pump, which comes up right over there. Um, that thing is turned off, so that means I've got an extra pump right now. And not only that, but I even have more pumping power because the pump, uh, the main pump that's doing this main line right here, All right, and my new trees just totally knocked over and took out one of my tomatoes. <laughs> all right, well, that was fun. With all this plumbing that I've been doing and uh, with the correction here, whoa, the correction of adding this black pipe here, which goes to the hydro setup, now I have one less uh, pump that I'm using and uh, one less plug over there in the electrical box that I'm using as well. So that means I can grab another aerator or with my other hydroponics setup, um, if you missed those videos, there's a uh, link to one, there's a link to the other one, but um, <laughs> that was fucking corny as fuck. <laughs>